Hello, more Purple Bandidos. Welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Ash Gray version. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we arrived here in this weird long island, Mandarin Island. It's a huge place. It's absolutely, like, insanely huge. As you can see, last time we went ahead and met Lorelei, and now we are in the desert. So this island consists of having a whole ocean right next to it. It has a desert next to it. It's a big place, and we're going to keep exploring it. Uh, last time we were told that we need to cross the desert in order to make it to the next gym. So that's what I'm going to try to do today. I'm going to try to get us all the way through that desert and let's hope that we're able to do that as you can see there's a bit of a sandstorm you know going on here there seems to be a lot of weather changes and just a lot of weird strange things and another thing I still can't figure out why the heck the bike isn't working but I'm not too worried about it we're gonna go ahead and keep on climbing through here then and I hope that I'm headed in the right way they keep making them a little bit like a maze but I've been doing quite good I believe we will be making it to the next gym today so get pumped for that make sure you guys are giving this video a like it really helps the series guys and I really appreciate it we're gonna have a battle though so let's take them on really quickly oh yeah also Lapras is level 65 if you guys didn't notice earlier so we have another battle Woo! And now with Lapras all, you know, souped up, all super powered, we'll be able to do a lot of good damage here. And hopefully, you know, he'll come in very handy on the gyms that are coming up. I know we have about two gyms left, which is honestly pretty exciting. I'm kind of looking forward to seeing what these last two have. I don't remember them in the anime. I just started re-watching it. I know a lot of you guys have been telling me that I should watch the show and keep up. And I'm getting really, really close. I'm watching it usually right before I fall asleep. So I'm paying somewhat attention to it. But why is Team Rocket here? I think we're going to have to battle them. Let's take them on. So there we have it, guys. As I was saying, you know, I've been watching it slowly but surely. And I think I'll be caught up enough very soon. But I also like the fact that it's still a little bit surprising for us to do, you know, random events here and there. I kind of enjoy it, you know, not knowing what's coming. It just makes it a little more exciting. I think, you know, it, it's a lot better when you just haven't played through a game before. And you're just playing through it for the first time. And it's kind of cool to be able to do that here, too. We've made it to the Pokemon Center. As you can see, the storm is just getting worse and worse. But you know what isn't Nurse Joy? That complexion. Because you look absolutely fantastic right now you know there's a lot of electricity in the room but the most electrifying person is you oh thank you very much I appreciate it you you like that well that you know uh, once in a while once in a while guys things tend to work out now we are here on the exit of Mandarin Island I believe I can't thank you enough for helping me, Rodri. Thanks to the Pokemon Center has electricity again. This is the guy that was up there. He pretty much just supercharges his Magnemite. And then with that, he powers up random cities. If that wasn't explained earlier because I was talking about this show and all sorts of stuff. But with that now out of the way, let's actually continue on. He said we need to head south to Trovatopolis. And that is where the next gym is going to be. What the fudge is going on? We have fallen into the sewers. Oh boy, something scary is happening here. Something bad is happening here. You know, speaking of shows, another show that actually just started up. I always like talking about this. I don't know why. I feel like I watch a lot of shows. I feel like whenever someone suggests something to me, I have like a Netflix marathon and I'll just run through it or I'll find it and just like go through four seasons of the show all at once. Just something I kind of do. And I think last night, I believe it was, uh, th there's a, you know, if you guys have seen The Walking Dead, probably it's a zombie show. You know, there's only a couple people left, zombies here and there, they bite people's heads off, you know, the usual zombie thing. And they just started a new show, which was called Fear the Walking Dead, and it was about kind of how the outbreak started, because The Walking Dead is focused on afterwards, the aftermath, and how people are dealing with it, and Fear the Walking Dead is like a show that is based on how it starts, and you know, I, I haven't completely seen it yet, but I know that it's, it's coming out, you know, so I, I definitely want to see it, but it has me thinking about, you know, what the heck would we do if that happened to us? You know, what if tomorrow or someday you start listening in the news and you hear about you know a zombie outbreak or something of that sort or just one day you wake up and you notice that nobody's around and then you start seeing zombies everywhere or people changing and all these sorts of things what the heck would you do you know I feel like we all need to have a plan for this whole zombie outbreak thing and it just makes me wonder maybe I've just played too many zombie games maybe I've just you know played a little bit too much of these you know weird strange games but it makes you think like all right if you sit down and think about it if there's a zombie outbreak, who are you going to want with you? You know, if you had to choose five people to be with you, 
Who would it be? I don't know. I would personally want people that have a good set of skills, unique skills, that would allow me to survive. I think that would be the number one key point. You know, knowledgeable, smart people that would know how to handle an outbreak. Uh, you know, that could be just random people that know about zombies from games, or it could be like people who are really good at survival. Who knows? But if I had to pick five random friends, I don't think uh, we would survive very well. Because I don't feel like we would be able to, you know, fight off all these zombies. You never know. You never know. Maybe your five group of friends would be able to survive it. I don't think my, if I chose five friends, we would be able to. I feel like I would personally be one of the people freaking out the most. And I would be panicking a lot. And, you know, flipping out and not knowing what the heck to do. Anyways, we found a Bulbasaur down here. So this is what has been making noise in the sewers. We're going to go ahead and pick it up and take it with us. And go all the way back to the Officer Jenny, who actually asked us for help. She was like, yo, if you hear something in the sewers, which is probably zombies, that's what I'm going to tell her. You know, if, if, if Officer Jenny asked me, I'd be like, yo, Officer Jenny, I went down. There were like three zombies down there. You got to go check it out. You got to go down there. You got to go go ahead and check it out. And, you know, just, just go in there and mingle with them. The cry you heard came from this abandoned Bulbasaur. Look, it has the symbol of the mayor. The mayor must have abandoned the sewer. Don't worry, Roger. I'll take care of it. And now I can make sure the mayor doesn't get reelected. Okay, so with that, it looks like we have helped not re-elect the sleazy mayor, which is over here. He's telling us he didn't abandon it. Let's be honest. He probably did. I'm pretty sure in the anime he did. But with that, guys, I believe we're done here in this place, at least for now. There aren't many houses over here. There's this blonde girl. She can't decide who to vote for. Well, you know, you can vote for us. You know, write us in. Write us in as mayor. You never know. We could probably do a pretty good job around here. Now, I want to make my way to Trovatopolis because I want to take on this gym today. That is my goal. I want to go ahead and fight this next gym leader. So let's see if I can figure out where we're going. It's definitely going to be down this way. Let's talk to this guy. So you want to set sail to Trovita Island. Let's go ahead, guys. We have arrived. Help. Okay, well, somebody needs to help her. Hang on. I'll help you. Oh, well, thank goodness for Misty. That was a close call. What are you doing out there? I was swimming near the beach, but the ocean pulled me. And then the ocean and the, and the ocean and the waves and the waves and the ocean. And I fell in the ocean. And yeah, I couldn't get back up. And the waves came. I get it. I get it. You were out there drowning. Thank goodness Misty is a good person and actually saved you. Without her, you know, I don't know what we would do. She seems like a very good person. Who is this guy hitting on Misty? Who is this guy hitting on her? Yo, yo, this guy better step off right now. You better step off, dude. I have a Charizard. He may not listen to me. He may not listen to me, but he will maybe a one out of four chance throw a flamethrower at you. I don't know. You might be the 25%. The it might be that chance. Might happen. It might not. With that, it looks like this guy is actually the gym leader, and he is going to be who we take on. His name is Rudy, and we have to go through a river. So we are going to have to go th through Trevita River in order to take him on. Our Pokemon are healed up, though. And I believe I saw the gym up there. So let's go ahead and swim upwards then. And I am super excited for this. I hope you guys are really excited for this gym. I can't wait to see what it's going to be about. I can't wait to beat this guy. Hopefully we can beat this guy. Trevita Island Pokemon Gym. We're going to be taking on leader Rudy. So let's go ahead inside. And what's up, Rudy? For our gym match, we will have three battles, and we will use the same type Pokemon. We will use electric, grass, and water for our battle. Make sure you have a Pokemon of that type available, or you will have to forfeit the battle. I'll meet you at the top of the North Peak outside of the gym, and we'll have our match. Okay, guys, so we're going to go ahead and actually take this guy on. So I will be making my way up here, and let's just go ahead and battle our dude. Let's go and talk to him. Are you ready for a gym battle? We'll have three separate one-on-one -on -one matches. The first battle will be a battle of electric Pokemon. The second will be grass. The final match will be water. Whoever wins two of the three will win. Are you ready? All right, guys, so let's go ahead and take him on then. Oh, we're going to have to deposit the rest of our Pokemon. So let me go ahead and actually deposit everybody except our Pikachu. I believe he said the first one was electric. I don't want to mess this up. I want to try our best and make sure we win. You know, if we can win the first two, that would be really cool. Uh, so let's go ahead and take him on. Let the first round begin. Here we go. Roger versus Rudy, Trevita Island's gym leader. The random type master or trainer. This guy has a bunch of Pokemon. I don't even know. All right, guys. He has a level 65 Electabuzz. I think we'll be able to put the motion in the lotion here. And, you know, the motion in the basket. So we're going to try our best. Are you serious? He's actually going to land a Thunder Wave on us. You know what? I have faith. I believe that our Pokemon can do this. We're going to go for the Double Edge Mother Fudger. Okay, so he's going to do everything he can to stop us from attacking. But you know what? 
Come on, Pikachu. You can land this. I'm going to go for another double edge. The quick attack shouldn't do that much damage to us. Holy crap. He hit a crit. That actually did a bunch. All right. Well, let's cross our fingers that double edge will actually be really super effective or just do a ton of damage on him. Let's see how much we're going to do. Come on. Take him down. Nice. So there we have it, guys. With that, Electabuzz is down. We have won our first of three matches. So that was actually pretty easy. Leader Rudy is down. And the first round is over. So let's continue onwards then. Our second battle will be between grass. Please place only one Pokemon of the grass type. You need a grass Pokemon for this battle. Wait, what the fudge? Oh, what the fudge? Okay, I think I just misclicked. And we just completely skipped over the second battle. Mother fudger. I guess that's what happens when you're spamming the freaking buttons. Okay, so I'm actually going to have to withdraw Lapras and deposit Pikachu now and it comes down to the third battle because I misclicked and skipped over the grass battle all right our third battle is water type let's go ahead and take on Rudy who absolutely rigged that for us and I feel like forced us to go into a third battle because he knew our Bulbasaur would win that okay guys we're up against a Starmie what scares me is Starmie knows electric type moves but I'm gonna go for the uh, let's yeah, let's go ahead and go for the Perish Song. I think that's that's pretty solid. If it comes down to it, you know, Starmie will go down too. And I'm sure the game will give us the battle. And if it doesn't, that would kind of suck. But I have a little faith in our Pokemon. And I think we're going to be able to do this. I think, you know, our Lapras has it. Now that Lapras is all trained up, she has this. I didn't know our Lapras was actually a female. I did not pay that much attention to it. With that, guys, let's go ahead and go for it. I guess this guy's team is kind of sketchy. They just keep, you know, evading us and thunder waving us and trying to do anything they can to dodge attacks but i feel pretty good how much is that gonna do that does not do as much as i would like it to but we have frozen the starmie though so that's definitely a pro that should make it a lot easier for us to take it down we have two parish counts left let's go for a hydro pump i think that's gonna do a good amount of damage maybe i don't know it's a water type maybe we'll just beat it out through strength if not i'll probably just go back to the ice beam since the Ice Beam was doing a good amount. Actually, that did a lot. I will take that. That was actually a very solid move. So we are down to one count, guys. So either we win it here or we lose it. I'm going to go for the Hydro Pump. I have a lot of faith in us. There we go. With that, Lapras has landed the Hydro Pump. And we have defeated Rudy. We hit a crit. We didn't even need that crit. But awesome, guys. We have gone ahead and done it. We gained a bunch of XP. We defeated Leader Rudy. The final round is over. We got 5,500 for winning. High fives. It looks like you beat me two out of three rounds. Okay, I'm impressed, Rodri. You've earned the Spike Shell badge. With that, guys, we have received the third out of four badges here in the Orange League. One more to go. Very nice. Still, I may have won the best prize of all. Now to see what Misty's answer is to my offer. What the fudge? What did this guy offer Misty? Should we go check that out, man? He's like, he's messing around. You know, he's messing around with our girl. We got to go and stand up for that. Let's go ahead and see what exactly this guy has to uh, offer Misty. You're a lucky guy, Rodri. You'll understand why someday. What the fudge? What the heck? Rodri, that was a great battle. What is going on? Mari and I were watching for the gym. You're going to need this if you're going to go further north in the Orange Islands. With that, we received the Whirlpooler from Misty. I think that's going to help us get through the Whirlpools. I've decided not to stay with Rudy. Why not? I don't know what it is, but something's holding me back. Okay. 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 I'm going to miss Misty, but one day she'll change. And I, I fell in the water, and then the wave got and the wave came. I got it. I got it. With that, guys, it seems like Misty kind of stayed for us. You know, maybe it's just me, you know, being uh, just, you know, a positive guy, hoping that maybe Misty deep down truly does have some sort of feelings for us. But, you know, maybe she does. Maybe she doesn't. Maybe the world will never know. Maybe she'll just happen to go off on her journey. We probably won't see her on any other seasons of the anime for very long. But you never know. I don't know. I mean, I don't know what's going to happen. Who knows what could happen? You never know what could happen in the future of this anime. But with that, guys, we are done here for today on Trevita Island. Next time, we'll continue from here and see if we can make our way to that ocean and see where we go from there. Make sure you give this video a like and leave me some tips. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.